That was weird. Oh, I'm sorry if you lost me there for a second. Um, said so my OBS disconnected, then reconnected. So, I shot down Hajar, Pabrin, and Gwenna from the legendary creatures for various reasons, and we were continuing onward. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to look in the VOD or not, if it was just like a little alert that popped up and went away, or if it's actually going to be a thing, but... Return... Oh, no, it's... Final Meditation. Um... Which costs like 10 mana to cast on an opponent's turn, and we can't get the triple blue there. We can, however, store up mana and then just have triple blue and try and cast this on somebody else's turn. Final Meditation. Do we actually want that? Like, it can add three blue when we reveal it off of our commander if we need it to, or if it just happens to show up randomly. But its big thing is going to be, like, storing extra mana over turns and then, like, three blue and whatever floating black mana we have ending the turn, like, bouncing everything back to their owner's hand and ending the turn. It's okay, it's not amazing. Think we need it. I don't think we need Hierical either. Uh, Kai's Restoration was not amazing, right? Yeah, none of our stuff is super low casting costs. Even so. getting to cast it on the cheap isn't helping us any. It's warfare no. Claim by Gix. Yeah. Drell. Multiverse. Top of your library. Weirdly, this one is worse than either Omniscience or uh, Future Sight in this deck. So, I'm scrolling pretty fast. Didn't need the Dragon Engine. We don't need Flesh Gorger. Platoon Dispenser, Portal to Phyrexia. Alright. And she cares about low casting cost? Yeah. Nope. Reaver, root, uh, root Wire Amalgam. Sahili. Seranth Great Worm. Various scrap work creatures. Rivalry new. Surge engine. Loose. Fairy new. Ballista new stones temporal anchor. This one we care about when we scry. Yeah, probably not. We're not scrying much outside of the anchor itself, and yeah, you know, we're already trying to cast our other spells easier. I don't need to, um have to cast the other things that I've exiled. 
Although, I guess, technically, if the anchor doesn't die, I can sit on them for a while and cast them later. Alright, creatures you control have vigilance and tap surveil one. Um, eight mana, exile her from your graveyard. Return a number of artifacts with mana value ten or less from your graveyard to the battlefield as a sorcery. Yeah, I don't think so. Third path, Lord Lord's up. Urza, Lord Protector. Yes, behold the mighty Lorza. It knows all. Okay, so that was the Brothers' War, then we need the Brothers' War. Commander. Nice of it to have the word Commander on there, that I can read part of it. Alright, so Brothers' War, Commander, at this in... Uh, the actual Brothers' War. Create two tap Power Stones, choose target players. Each creature they control attacks the other chosen player each combat if able. Uh, deals X damage to any target and X damage to any other target where X is the number of artifacts I control. Meh. Nah. And I was worried with all of the lands, but... Then we have the Disciple, so I think we're still fine. Uh, Kalison enters the battlefield, starting with you, each player. I'll write this thing, and then they can't phase in. So, no. Uh, create a token that's a copy of up to one target artifact token you control. Mill two cards. Sacrifice two artifact tokens, exile an artifact or creature card from my graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of the exile card, except it's an artifact in addition to the other types. Oh, artifact or creature from my graveyard. And the token is an artifact, regardless. Okay. Uh, first strike, trample. Whenever an artifact opponent controls is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, deal one damage to that player. Lands you control and land cards in your library are basic. Aside from dodging things like um, Ruination and... Um, Wave of Vitriol, I don't think we need. Root Path Purifier, there's nothing I'm running in the deck that can't get my lands to begin with. Or that cares about basic lands because we only have five of them. So. Uh, forest from the graveyard, whenever Forest enters the battlefield, create a 5-3... Elemental token, whenever an elemental dies, I can mill three. Alright, the Archman, Archimandrite. Uh, begin of your upkeep, gain X life, where X is the number of cards in your hand, minus four, so it's an ivory tower. Uh, whenever you gain life, each advisor, artificer, and monk you control gains vigilance and plus X power, based on the life gain. Tap three untapped creatures of those types, and draw a card. Don't think so. Alright, Ashnod, what you got? Um, whenever you activate the ability of an artifact or creature that isn't a mana ability, if one or more permanents were sacrificed to activate it, you may copy that ability. You may choose new targets for the copy. We already noted before that a lot of our artifacts don't go to the graveyard as part of their activation, so... Or resolution, either, so... We're not going to have a ton to work with in that regard. Right. Beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's a copy of target non-creature artifact I control, except its name is Mishra's Warform, and it's a 4-4 construct artifact creature in addition to its other types. It gains haste until end of turn, sacrifice at the beginning of the next end step. So it has to be a non-creature artifact. 
Like, he's okay for making a token copy of, let's say, Gilded Lotus, but he can't do something like Timeless Lotus since it's going to come into play tapped. Uh, Urza is... Affinity for artifact creatures. Artifact creatures have menace. Beginning of your end step. Create a zero zero colorless construct creature token. Plus one plus one for each artifact I control. Plus X plus X works as the number of forests I control. Tax create a one one forest dryad land creature token. As long as an artifact creature came in, I control is attacking. Prevent all damage will be dealt to Sandwell, Avenger Ace. Comes tapped, exile the top six cards of my library. I cast a vehicle or artifact creature spell from among them, then put the rest on the bottom of my library in a random order. Yeah, I was going to just stop at artifact, but I noticed and I didn't. Battlefield with a 1 1 counter on it. Remove a counter from a permanent I control. Search my library for a planes card. If an opponent controls more lands, they put that card onto the battlefield tapped. If they don't put that card, or if I don't put that card onto the battlefield, I put it in my hand. Artifacts, steals combat damage to a player, may reveal that many cards from the top of my library. Put an artifact card revealed this way into my. And then the rest into the graveyard. Yeah, I don't have an anywhere near enough artifact creatures because most of them don't have multiple colors in their casting cost, weirdly enough. Uh, it's almost like almost every artifact is colorless. Sayers Devastation. You lose X life and create X tap power stone tokens. Then all creatures get minus one, minus one for each artifact I control. Here, each artifact creature card in your graveyard has encore equal to its mana cost. Hmm. The problem again is a bunch of my stuff is legendary, so I will just be making legendary token copies and having to pick one to keep. So. Each non land card in that player's graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn. Nope. Uh, artifact offering, flying double strike, creatures attacking your opponents have double strike. Uh, non-token you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, create a colorless artifact token named Scrap. Sacrifice an artifact, choose one. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on Farid, gains menace, go target creature, discard a card, then draw a card. Scavenge Brawler at all. That Thopter Shop. Or two. Yeah, we're not super artifact heavy, so I'm not really feeling most of these artifact centric cards. And then the other ones just aren't anything we need. Alright, I only made it an hour this time, but I think I'm still run down from staring at the computer screen for the first two hours, and I didn't really do anything to, like, rest my eyes in between that. I was actually working on adding the text to all of the cards that we've been selecting for when we start doing the um, removal of cards from the list, so we remember what they do offhand. So I think I'm going to take a break for a little bit, and when I come back, we'll probably do some Final Fantasy VII Remastered or maybe something else. But I think I'm good with working on Omnath for today. 
But yeah, I'm going to go take a quick power nap or something, give my eyes a rest, and I will be back on later tonight. So thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.